And welcome. We are back with Remothered Broken Porcelain. If you missed chapter one, you can pause this, click that little flag up in the corner there, check out chapter one, then come back and watch chapter two. But we're gonna go on and continue. Let's say we go with the auto save. Remember last time we had to deal with that bitch Andrea. Had the bugs coming out of her eyes and shit. I wonder what we'll have to deal with next. Please remember, there is a giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers here on YouTube. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's get this insanity started. Oh, so now we're... So I guess we're doing, like, a prequel and a sequel in one. The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashner was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Church of Morente Convent. Yeah. She was found mutilated after she was reported thrown out a courtyard-facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claim to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. A distinctive woman? Why does she look younger in this one, though? Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. He ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? One of those pieces missing. Assigned What's this one say? Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it, Celeste Felton? Ah, oh, is Jennifer Celeste entrusted to Stefano Ashman, single landlord, 36 years of age, request custody? Well, already then. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Oh, is he now? Hey, Reed, are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. <laughs> Give me. How do I know you don't bite? What is Reed? Pardon me. Oh my god, it's Mason Verger from Hannibal. Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. Isn't he beautiful? I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What's ever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier 
from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? Ah, oh, he knows. That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. Uh -huh. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner Felton by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It yep. was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And the moths? Oh, why is it going to cut like that? <laughs> and the moths? Yeah, what's with the moths, man? What's with the moths? So wait, if the disease never existed, did they make the disease? Hmm. This story gets more and more intriguing. Woken up at last. Oh God. Hey, hey. I, I barely Calm touched down. her. It's just a bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. It's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Shit. Drink up. They're in cahoots. God, oh, Dan just you're gonna drown me. Sure of what I saw. Everything is alright now. Calm down. I don't want to calm down. Man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor slender. That man is dead, young lady. Who pushed me down the stairs? You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead and has been for a long time. He hung himself. You Why see, you hesitate with that? We were just dreaming. I I I I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? No, of course not. She it's should trying to get me thrown out. Mm. Of course she's not going to believe us. I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm here for you. Oh, You're full of shit. A few months before. Oh, back in time. But there's you stealing somebody's cigarettes. Are you new here? Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. No, I've been here for years. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen... I'm not up for making conversation. She's up about front about it. I'm sorry, I guess. Oh, I yeah. was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. Yeah. You could stab I'm me in the back. I'm organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Hmm? Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. What? Only in my spare time. 
Very well. You're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. Go back to my music. The pleasure was all mine. I didn't like the way she said that. Oh, <clears throat> alright. You want to wake up? I beg you, wake up! How'd I get on the floor? Shit, he drugged you! Listen, you have to leave! You have to get away from this place! Yeah, no shit. This story, again? Everything you said before, I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wynan. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? I can't see the picture. The man reportedly hung himself on November 14th after being accused of playing a part in the man-made fire at the Cristo Morente convent. Professor Albert E. Wyman also received numerous threats after Richard Felton's adopted daughter went missing. Richard Felton was commonly known for his involvement in the Phenoxyl research and experiments. However, these charges were later dropped due to lack of evidence. Wyman's family members did not respect the standard procedures and went ahead with a rushed cremation and burial, preventing the authorities from carrying out a detailed autopsy on the body. Despite being identified by the coroner, family relatives, and by his former business partner, Partner Stefano Ashman, the authorities are unsure as to why the family sped up the cremation and burial process, fueling suspicions that it might have been to cover up tracks of a possible staged death. Ah, shit. It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. <coughs> I don't. I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know. Do you know who I am? What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood. For fuck's sake! Why? That's why she was trying to get me kicked out. Celeste Felton. No. No, I, I don't know. Oh God, Lynn, I can't remember! Well, you've been you drugged. And they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Fucking hell, Lynn, just tell me. That you know, why are we yelling? The disease. And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. Control it. You know it. Look me in the eye, Dean. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is Why should I trust you? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jenny. It had nothing to do with this. I have always been honest with you. I don't Lynn! believe you. What is that? When a mother moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does Where? everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. 
he was or where any of that was coming from a telephone it's coming from ashman's office oh are you going to sneaky snoo Another way. I think I can get through this right here. Go to room two eleven. Now I need two eleven, so I'll be this way. I'm not going to be in there. Hard save while we're here. I don't think I really need to restore any life. Hey. 
211. Oh. Who the fuck is that? I'm looking for his keys. Oh, they're right there. Went the wrong way. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hmm. It was a little louder than I wanted it to be. Trying to be sneaky. Power sneak. <laughs> okay. Hello? Shit. I missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. A voicemail. Did they have voicemail back then? Oh, give me that. I want the moth key. Oh, you got a message. Hi, Stefano, it's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. That's where is Mary? I'm a married woman now. Whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I've stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us. A godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish you could understand. Leave us be. She's dead. The 
Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. Okay. Oh, I got a fine line. How the hell am I supposed to know where Lynn is? Did she make it outside? Oh, that's a hidey ho. I don't need a hidey ho right now. Where am I supposed to find her at? If you know, that's all. She went. Does it give me any? Tips or nothing on where I could find her. I well, know she's not going to be there. Well, maybe she's gonna be in this room. the key yet. I had the key. What does it mean? This is a joke. I don't like it at all, Lynn. I wasn't trying to read the name. Where the hell is she go? I don't see why she would have ran up the steps. Yeah. 
Some reason she's in here. Is she down here? Is she know like a secret way out through here, maybe? No, I was trying to do that. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. There's a moth key. Celeste Felton, this is... this is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Oh, now you remember who you are. Jesus! Oh, we broke a picture. Where is that at? Where the hell did that fall at? Huh, there it is. Launch of Rosso Gallo in partnership with the Naxal Associates, 1956. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Maybe. Mom! Dad! Is this what you were looking for? Ah, uh, fuck. Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. I don't believe you. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Uh-oh. Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother. That what? disgusting bitch. Binoxel made her lose her mind. 
She had to get in the way. I loved her, Rihanna. Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman. She Wonder. had to be shown who was the real man. Oh, God. Did not learn her lesson when I fucked her? Oh, God. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Fire extinguisher. Stop, you naughty girl. Go, go, go. God damn it, run, bitch. Oh, wrong button. It works. Come here, little one. Let Daddy hug you. Ah. Uh, are you my real daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you at this fire extinguisher, motherfucker. You're just a puppet. A filthy bitch. Where'd he go? You and Lindsay can't run away. Where did he go? Oh, crap. How did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? Guess he went through here. Oh, my head! It's all her fault! a joke. I don't like it at all, Lynn. Mom? Dad? Gloria? I'm so sorry. Where are you? Oh shit, he killed me. Maybe I should have to stay in the office. I can keep him in the office. I know I can hide behind stuff easier. And I don't have to worry about him vanishing. And not being able to find him, like we just dealt with. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I was back up here. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please. Lower that gun. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. 
So that's where you were hiding! Stop, you little coward! It works! No, oh, no. I almost had it. Wait, wait, wait. I think I can see you. I'm behind you. Oh, I gotta wait for that meter to fill back up. Run! Run, bitch! Do you really think you're going to manage to run away with Lindsay? She is a part of us! I am your father! You shall respect me! No. Can I just hide in here till it fills back up? Will that work? God, I hope it works. This one, maybe I had to stay still for it to recharge. Why me? Why? Stop talking. You're a filthy bitch. How did she get away? I'm right behind you, motherfucker. I'm not even trying to be quiet. I want to spray you in the face again. Ariana, how could you do this to me? I've had enough of this, you little shit! That's it! Stop, you little coward! Enough! Oh, God. Did he get me or did I get... What? Uh -huh. I'm confused. He got me, but it said that... He gave me a check mark saying that I defeated him. The Acheronchia. The most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate oh, with others. Back is Rosemary. Even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings. With rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. 
That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say mother... Like, why does she look younger in this one than the first one? Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. Or is it just me? Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. I get the power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. So Celeste can control? What? So it says Celeste can, or Jennifer, whichever name she's going by now, can control the Maz. If I do that, can control the Maz, can I just, when I go control them as well? You would think so. Oh god, not Andrew again. I'm disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I'm disgusted by you. I will whip your head off and throw it in the freezer. You need to be nicer. Make her disappear. Make her disappear. Hang her. She's all Hang her. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> there was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? I think. Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare oh. talk about Gloria that way. You're Ooh. a fucking monster. Admit it. They kept her isolated. Far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets. You don't know shit. And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up. Uh -oh. Maybe by lighting it all up. Shut up! <laughs> Ow, this is child abuse. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That, at just 10 years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> That's like Joker. Yes, I can. Or else you might. You can do this. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness, it's a gift. Am I talking, or is somebody talking to me? You can do it. Using moth power, use right and deep and activate moth power. With your moth, you can distract enemies and free yourself. Oh. Ah. Oh, 
I think it's over that way. Oh god, I can't control this thing. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. I thought it had backed me out already. Okay. Alright, I think we got it this time. Aha! Coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming. Sir, the girl. I can't find her. Kiss my Later. Ass, oh god. Kiss my ass, dickhead. Open this fucking door, you They're all crazy! Crazy! I didn't do anything! I beg you! <laughs> Hands in the air! You're not using your silly mobs now, are you? Maybe? Oh. oh, I think I made it. I forgot I had the extinguisher. Mm. I don't want to hurt you. Come Full of shit. Don't you lie to me. You don't want to hurt me then. Give me the gun. Right, y'all? I mean, if he doesn't want to hurt me, if he gives me the gun. I had warned the others not to lower their guard. Why me? Why? Shut up, Jennifer. That was close. I have to be careful from now on. Turn away from the restaurant. I don't think it's any chance to... Not you too, Elisa. Not you too. <sighs> I feel dead inside. Yeah. Noxel was our only option to achieve oh, what they we do. all wanted. Some sort of exit from this restaurant. Supposed to forget about everything. The balcony. I have to make sure they don't find me. I knew this wasn't just a bad dream, and that I wasn't losing my mind. Did you know she's part of our family too? Oh God. Oh god, they got me. I don't know which one got me, but somebody got me. Alright, so now I know that he's pretty much going to turn around and come right back. Which means I can hide somewhere until he passes. Apparently, that other chick is easy to sneak by. And they'll use that dog. 
in Andrea. Shit. I have to make sure I don't get caught. <laughs> there you are. Oh. Damn it. leave this place as much as you Please don't get me in trouble. Oh god, I wasn't trying to pick. Oh god. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Surprise. What the hell? You know, that's just over. I didn't think it was going to bring me right there at the fucking dog. Kind of bullshit that it was right there with her right there too. Shit! There has to be a way to shut them up! Oh. You've already seen who lurks inside the walls, haven't you? You don't want us to get mad at you, do you? I need some. Oh. Oh. Oh, found a key. Need something that I can grow. Oh, shit. Really? Can't throw that thing. They fooled themselves into believing that she could have helped us. She in the bathroom? Ooh. Escape. Shadow. Sharpness, health. Tool wizard. Survivor, luck. Let's do it again. Gonna hit one more. Uh, right. 
your stamina is Two of those. Uh. All right. Oh, Jesus. That's bright. I think that worked. What am I supposed I to do to startle the damn dog? I tried to throw a bottle at it and that didn't work. supposed to do? Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. Why are you worried about me completing my chores if you're trying to kill me? children. Ah. Filthy dog! Oh. What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Aww, don't kill the puppy. You bitch. No, that wasn't my intention. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, you did. Right now. 
Since unfortunately she killed the doggy. But maybe that means now I can sneak out. It's all their fault. Go to sleep. He's running away. He's running away. I've been hurt. I have to hide. You and Lindsay can't run away. Where you can't. Oh, I got shot. Keep running. Don't stop. Oh god, it's this bitch. She was in the first game. Oh shit. That was close. Stay back. Calm down. I'm back to myself. You can trust me. Can I? What is going on here? What the hell is going on with the others? Listen to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place. Okay. I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Why? You have to trust me. I know what you are capable of. Like what you did in the cold room. That voice. Was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside. And I know that you can hear me. Listen up. There's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. I guess I had the... I'm supposed to just pretty much. Well, it's not distract. Well, he's distracting her now, is it? Oh my god, I can't control this shit. Found it. Fuck, fuck, 
No, she heard me. Oh God, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Shit, shit, shit. Here. Shit. Oh. Did she Thank make you, it? Jen. Oh, she did. Thank you. Hold on just a little longer. Oh. God damn it. Ah, oh, shit. I guess I have to use the moths to startle her. Sorry. Didn't mean to burn you, girl. <laughs> she was a little hot-headed. Stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. Okay. Yeah. Get the jukebox. Oh, yeah. Am I inside her? Is that what's going on here? Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashwin usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? There. Fuck, fuck. No, she heard me. Oh God, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Over here. I'll pretty much stay right on her. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on just a little longer. Uh, my head! I have to get to Elisa. Now! You're in the closet. Alright, where are you going? Why oh, don't you be getting stuck, Jennifer? Alright, so where are you going? Shit, I can't go this way. to make sure they don't find me. Oh God! Can I just like, run through and escape? <laughs> Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh, God damn. Where 
the fuck is this closet I'm supposed to meet her at? I swear to God, it's this door. It is this door. Tell me, what the hell is going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of that fire at the convent, haven't you? Yeah. Well, not all of them died. <sighs> Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, <clears throat> our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. <gasps> ah, shit. There isn't much time left. I beg you, please. Have you ever tried just leaving? Has no effect on you. You can end the loop. Stop it. Who makes you think I had this power? All of us. And we are part of the same thing. Oh. And that completes <coughs> chapter two of Remothered Broken Porcelain. <laughs> Please. This game's getting creepy. I'm enjoying it. I really hope you are. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for part three of Remothered. Don't forget, if you haven't seen the uh, first game yet, Tormented Fathers. At the uh, end of this video, it might already be up. There will be a um, link to uh, the first game. Yeah. But I've been enjoying. I hope you have too. Shit's starting to get really weird and creepy. Who knows what adventures will await us next at the Ashman Inn. But until then, be sure to tune in Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Blasphemous Sundays, where we continue our adventures in hell. And I'll see you next time. This is Scarecrow, signing out. <laughs>